Hola amigos y amigas, bienvenidos nuevamente a este espacio. Estamos acompañados por Robbie X, el King of the Cruiserweights, o ahora the best junior heavyweight in the world. That's, that's right. <laughs> uh, it's nice to have you, Robbie. It's a pleasure. Bye bye. Always a pleasure to be on this as well. Thank you very much for having me again. You know, you're one of the hottest, not only junior heavyweights, but in general, wrestlers in the world right now. You just competed in CMLL, you made your debut in Mexico, yes, you competed in the Grand Prix, which yeah, is something outstanding. Yes, so I thought I was actually the, uh, the first ever Englishman to uh, be a part of the Grand Prix, yeah. but apparently I wasn't, apparently I'm the, the second. Uh -huh. So, um, I mean, that's still a hell of an achievement, so that's fine by me. Yeah, so can you tell us about your experience in CMLL? <laughs> CMLL like pretty much felt like a family straight away. Like uh, just the whole experience of like just wrestling in Arena Mexico. So the first day, uh, the first day I was there, I wrestled against Neon mm -hmm. in Arena Mexico, and as soon as I walked down them steps, I literally felt so at home. Um, the wrestling over there is incredible. Like the fan base over there is it's so big and explosive so like when you're wrestling and you're doing all of these cool like especially the way i wrestle mm. um the crowd just eat everything up and they fucking love it um like we traveled to uh we traveled all over the over all over mexico and every single one like every single place we wrestled was explosive to hell like i genuinely felt so comfortable in the environment although like wrestling because mexico is so high up mm. I definitely got a little bit out of breath, but we, I, I adapted very quickly to it now. Um, honestly, like, if Mexico just genuinely felt like a place at home, really. Yeah, your style, uh, it's um, really similar to what people associate with Lucha Libre, so, so, but... Yeah, so um, I was talking to uh, Templario, yes. and Tem like, he just said, like, It's kind of similar, but then I, I also do some things that they've never seen before, mm. like the uh, the back flip kick. They yes. never see that there, apparently. So like, I'm very like I'm. I love the fact that I'm coming over and being able to mix well with the Mexicans, mm. but then also bring my style over to Mexico as well. So that's great. And how was it to live in Mexico? Because you've been there like 10 days. Yeah, weeks. hard. I, I walked around like a lot. Like I was walking around all the time. Like we got to train in Arena Mexico. Um, I got to go to the gym in Arena Mexico. I went to different gyms around Mexico City. Mm -hmm. uh, eating foods. Uh, we were, traveled to Guadalajara. I can't pronounce it. That's the one. I can't pronounce it. Um, yeah, so like, we traveled there. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm gonna buy loads of tacos, so I got a load of tacos, and I, I'm not very good with just spicy food. Uh -huh. But when in Mexico, you have to eat. I will try it. Yeah. So I, I asked for a little pot of uh, chili sauce. Oh no! I had the <laughs> tiniest of it. Oh my! Blew my head off. But you know, when in Mexico, try chili. I regret it, but it was <laughs> it was okay. It was, tacos and enchiladas, though. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's part of the experience living yes. there. Yes. I um I had a, a good talk with Atlantis. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, what? He's a lovely, lovely man. He's very like being able to get uh, some influence from Atlantis. Like it was very, uh, it was very special because he watched my matches and he uh, he gave me some tips and tricks and whatnot. And I'm like, oh okay. So whenever I'm a, whenever I wrestle back here around Europe, I'm gonna use them tips and tricks, and no one's gonna know. That's cool. Uh, you actually met Atlantis during the Fantastic Mania tour, yes, yes. but you didn't have much time uh, to talk with him at the moment because no. it was just one day, right? Yeah, so it was just one day when they came over here. So like getting to spend like uh, 10 days over there, um, seeing him not not all the, every day, but like every now and again, and just to pick his brains because obviously he's such a big superstar over there. Um, And yeah, like honestly, like my whole experience with CMLL in Mexico, like I just, I can't wait to go back again. Like I got to travel back home. I got to spend a couple of days with my family. Like I miss my girlfriend, I miss my little stepson, I miss my dog. But like over there, I feel like I can make a good life and I can make a big living over there. So like if I can come back and forth, to Mexico as and see my family and then go back and then come back and like back and forth I will be a happy man 
Okay, now if you folks in the CMLL are watching this, you might try to scout Rogex for three months tours and then he can get back uh -huh. to the UK. That will, that will work like I, twice a year. Yeah, I'm down for that. I'm happy with it. So like my initial thought right now, mm -hmm. and I love wrestling and I love wrestling so much, but I think it's time for my next step. Mm -hmm. If I could do two major companies and then spend time with my family, I will be a very happy man. I'll be a very happy man. I'm very blessed with the life that I live right now because I'm witnessing so much more experience and I'm having so much fun with my life. And I get to spend time with my family still. And I'll be an incredibly happy man if I could just do that. I just hope you do the best, Robbie, and fingers crossed for that. Oh, until then, I'll just keep battling and I'll keep fighting and I'll keep proving that I am the best junior heavyweight in this world. Yeah, you know, the first time we met and we recorded something, you manifested CMLL in Mexico and uh -huh. it happened, yep. so yep. fingers crossed. Uh, do you, can you remember what else I said? Japan. So, that's my next, I've, I've conquered Mexico. There's only, one, there's only one more country that I need to conquer. And that's, and that's Japan. Hopefully soon. Maybe, we'll see. I believe CMLL itself is a highlight, but specifically during the tour, you had the chance to wrestle in Arena Mexico, who is, that is um, one of the most iconic venues in the whole world. And you also participate in the Grand Prix. So can you tell us about those two experiences? I, Arena Mexico has always been like one of my favorite venues to look at. I've always followed like, it's only since like Fantastica Mania happened over in the country, in the UK. Um, that's when I started really looking forward to like trying to go over to CMLL. And look, just because my style mixes with well with theirs. And um, and once I saw Arena Mexico and obviously Michael Oku and Amira went over, they all, it was always some like a dream of mine to go over there because it's such a beautiful venue. It's such a historic venue. There's so much history in Arena Mexico. And I just wanted to take it off. Um, so it's, I'm very, I'm very blessed and I'm very fortunate and I think my hard work speaks for itself and I think that I've earned to go over there and perform my, my craft in front of 16,500 people. Maybe more, I don't know. Mm. Um, but no, like wrestling in Arena Mexico, it's been a dream and I'm very blessed to have been able to do it. Um, and the Grand Prix, um, it was, <sighs> It was incredible to to see uh, to see the um, the Mexican army uh, to see everyone stand up for the national anthem. Like I, it gave me goosebumps. Like I'm getting goosebumps now just thinking about it because um, it's such a it's such a big event and everyone just comes all together. They stand up. They uh, I think it's their right hand. I think it might be their right hand. Right. That, and then they all sing the national anthem. And like the army come through. They do like this big ass uh, big show. And then it, we just we fucking fight each other, and then we just create magic. Um, unfortunately, Titan, he's he uh, he double stomped my ribs that hard. I just couldn't, just couldn't kick out. But Titan, um, Titan's a bit like I'm a big fan of Titan. I've got a lot of respect for Titan. Uh, Templario, I've got a, res a lot of respect for uh, Templario. Mascara Dorada, and. You might have seen it online, but Mystico, I've got a lot of respect for Mystico, although he did tear my fucking left arm almost off my body, but I still have a lot of respect for him. Like he, uh, he's pretty much like the, uh, the Undertaker of, may, maybe not the Undertaker, but you know, like he's the biggest star I've ever seen in Mexico. You like, know, I, 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 I might think that he's like the John Cena. He's there, the John Cena, yeah. He's because the John he's Cena. always the face, yeah. all by the fans. Honest, so like, I, uh, the first and uh, the first time I wrestled him, like I was not expecting the crowd to stand up. They were so loud, like they actually deafened me at one point. And then, um, yeah. please help me, Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Yes, that's that. Guadalajara. I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, so we um, we had a, uh, a ten on ten. Uh -huh. um, just because I think it was just getting ready for. <coughs> the Grand Prix and um, so it ended up be, be, being myself for, um, and Mystico in the final two and I was this close to beating him but honestly the, his arm breaker like his arm bar is, is a legit arm bar like once you're in that like you just can't get out like you just gotta tap but, but yeah it was hell of, hell of a lot of fun traveling back and forth and whatnot and living in Mexico like it's just I don't know 
I can speak here for so long about Mexico. Uh, I, yeah, it's just so much fun. And I just want to go back again. Hopefully soon. Hopefully, hopefully so. Okamura as well. Okamura, like, he's he's such a lovely man. And yeah. he, he helped me through a lot. Like, he guided me through a lot of things as well. And I've got a lot of time for Okamura. So, I love the man. Yeah, we saw that you went to the embassy. Yeah, so I, we uh, we traveled to the, uh, the UK embassy. Uh, of Mexico and I got to uh, meet the ambassador on the night of the uh, the Grand Prix so they all came to watch me and I was like oh I'm such a star <laughs> um, but no like the embassy over there is beautiful like we got to see the views like I'm a I'm a big view guy like I like looking at views and the view from the the top of the building is incredible so but yeah it rains a lot in Mexico mm -hmm. oh my god like the German of the day was lovely and then night time, just torrential rain and it was, there was a lot of rain. I was not expecting it at okay. all. <laughs> uh, now you are in Europe, you just had an amazing weekend in GWF and two GWF with Repro shows. Yep. So what's next for Robbie X? Yeah, I've had a lot of fun in, uh, in Germany. Um, Berlin's been wonderful. Uh, I've only been to Germany once before. And Berlin's been lovely. Like we spent ages on the scooters, like been ni eating nice out, um, eating a lot of ice cream. Like it's been a lovely, lovely time. Um, obviously, I'm a little, still a little bit jet lagged from Mexico because I landed on uh, landed back home on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But that's not stopping the king. Um, what's next for Grobiex? I am literally going to take over the world. I'm going to keep proving that I am the best that no one around the world is doing what Robbie X is doing. I am the best junior heavyweight. And this, this isn't just me saying it. I keep proving it over and over again. And people, the fans over here, abs incredible. Like, they literally came up to me and was like, ah, oh, you are one of the best that we've seen. Like, someone, that, I've literally just spoken to someone. And it was like, it was so nice to see a cruiserweight be like you. And, that's for, for people who aren't a cruiserweight that means nothing but for people who are you understand the, the level of being able to understand that, that when someone says that it's, it's it's such a big compliment because we spend so long trying to p perform and do it safely and make it look good for someone to for a couple people to say that i know that i'm doing my job right i know for a fact that i will keep doing it Day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, year, I do not care. I am going to prove and I am going to accomplish everything that I want. Whether it'll take a week, a month, a year, two years, I do not give a shit. I will keep performing the level I am performing until people realize. Yeah, you're undoubtedly one of the best in the world. Uh, and I believe that this experience in CMLL has shown the world that and now there are more doors that will be open for you. Oh, I've I've set eyes now. There's see like performing the way I performed in CMLL, like that's only gonna open doors for me in the future. So I'm just gonna keep on doing it. I'm gonna keep on with the momentum, and I will keep proving I am the top of the cruiserweight team. No doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your time, Robbie. Thank you very it's much for having pleasure. me. It's been fun. Uh, so eso ha sido todo por hoy, amigos. Hasta la próxima.